Hi everyone, this is Gwenda from the Customer Success team here at Mixpanel. Today we will be talking about performing first-time analysis in Mixpanel. Did you know that we have a first-time ever filter? So let me show you quickly in our insights report, our funders report, as well as our retention report. But before that, some of the key questions that we might want to think about when performing first-time ever filter and tracking first-time users is questions such as how many users are signing up or performing a key event in your product for the very first time. In terms of funnels, questions that we might want to think about as well is how are my first-time users converting in comparison to my recurring users? And lastly, when thinking about retention, we might also want to think about how are first-time users um, returning in comparison to recurring users. So let us quickly jump into this demo data set. So here I have um, the event of complete purchase and I'm looking at the number of users who have done complete purchase in the last 30 days. So if I want to find out, out of this group of users, how many of them are performing this complete purchase for the very first time, I can simply duplicate this event and put on the first time filter. This will give me two line charts. So um, the purple chart is telling me all the users who have done complete purchase in the last 30 days. And the orange line is giving me number of users who have done complete purchase for their very first time in the last 30 days. So we can see that out of the group of users, how many of them are performing the event for the very first time. We can also use the first time filter in a funnels report. So the funnels report can be anything really simple from a sign up report to anything a bit more complicated um, in terms of completing a purchase in a particular city. We can use the breakdown feature, but for today's sake, we are using a really straightforward funnel of sign up to search at to cut as well as complete purchase. So I can see that in this funnel, I have an overall percentage of 67% conversion. But what I want to know is how are my first time users who have done um, sign up for the very first time, how is um, the conversion rate looking like? So what I can do is put on the first time filter as well here. So I can see that, you know, users who have signed up for the very first time, actually only 47% of them are completing the entire funnel from step one to step four. So in terms of retention, I want to know, you know, what is the retention um, rate looking like for users who have done an event for the very first time. So right here, I have the retention report as well. And what I have done is also put in the first time filter. So this is telling the system, I'm looking at users who have completed purchase for the very first time in the last 30 days. How many um, of them or what percentage of them are actually returning to my platform week on week to complete another purchase? Right. So in terms of the first time filter, they are not just available in the core reports. You can also find them in our cohorts. So you can always put in a cohort of first time users and be able to um, compare first time users performing a certain event in comparison to those who have not. So right here, I have a cohort of users. Um, so I'm looking at users who join loyalty program for the very first time in the last 30 days. What is the retention looking like in comparison to those users who have not joined loyalty program for the very first time in the last 30 days? So again, with cohorts, we can always create cohorts under data management. Um, we can always create a cohort of users. So we can always, let's say, use the first time filter in a cohort for users who did complete purchase for the first time. So what I can do here is simply put the event of complete purchase and then put this first time filter and then create the cohort. So another thing that I would like to draw your attention to as well is um, the difference between first time filter as well as first scene. So you might have um, realized that we also have a first scene um, user property. So Mixpanel automatically exposes a user profile called first scene, which is the timestamp of the very first event performed by a given user. 
So the event could be any event, doesn't necessarily have to be the complete purchase event. So some of the use cases we can think of whenever we use first scene is calculating the total purchases done by users that showed up on our platform in the past week, for example. Or you could also break down total video watches, not in this e-commerce um, demo data set, but in, you know, for example, the media demo data set, you could break down total video watches by the month of the users joined it to see the contribution uh, of the different new user cohorts to your current engagement as well. So where can we find this first seen user um, property? So I have here, um, again, the complete purchase. So I'm looking at the total number of complete purchase event that is done in the last 30 days. And I have done a first scene filter. So I'm just going to take it out and show you how to find it. So looking into breakdown, I can just search for first scene. And I'm looking at, I want to be looking into users who are first seen within the week. So let's see. So I can look into users who have seen who are, who are first seen on your platform in the last hour, day, week, or month. So let's say I'm looking into month. So I can see that these are the users who have done complete purchase in the last 30 days where they were first seen on your platform on March 2019. And we have quite a large number of um users who have done complete purchase, but they were first seen in May 2019. So this is what we want to do whenever we do first time analysis. So we have the first time filter as well as the first seen user property. I hope this helps.